Praise the Lord. Welcome to New Life Fellowship Pentecostals of Victoria in London, United Kingdom. This is uh, Evangelist Pastor David Nurse. I'm sorry I've not preached uh, a message and uplined on our Pentecost TV for a while because I was in uh, Bolivia. I went to Bolivia and we had a fantastic missions trip there. Uh, around 40 people were filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, people were baptized just before they died. There was one lady that was on her deathbed and we went over to her house and we baptized her in the name of Jesus and then the next day she passed away. Truly today is the day of salvation. And then we went into a prison there and uh, people received the Holy Ghost and were touched and blessed by the altar call. And then one man, he uh, was filled with the Holy Ghost and then was released and came to the church on Sunday and got baptized in the name of Jesus. So we want to thank uh, all of the wonderful people of Bolivia uh, who uh, really made us feel wo uh, welcome and uh, thank God for that and thank God for the wonderful revival that we had. So praise and glory to the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But today I want to quickly preach to you about who is the Lord? That's correct. Who is the Lord? And if we turn our Bible to the book of Exodus, that's Exodus, the second book of the Bible, to chapter 5, chapter 5, verse number 2, 2, and the scripture reads in Exodus 5, verse 2, And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord, that I should obey his voice? To let Israel go. I know not the Lord. Neither will I let Israel go. Isn't it funny that today. A lot of people don't know who the Lord is. Just like the President of the United States. Everybody knows who the President of the United States is. Donald Trump. But Donald Trump doesn't know you does he? He doesn't know your name. And so many people don't know who the Lord is. They don't really know who he is. They give him the wrong glory. They give him the wrong title. You know they don't give him the proper name. But the Bible says... At the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So we know that the Lord in this period and this dispensation is Jesus Christ. In the Old Testament, he was known as Jehovah or Elohim or El Shaddai. But now in the New Testament, he is not known as Father and he is not known as Holy Ghost, and he is not known as Son, but he is known as Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is the Son, the Holy Ghost, and the Father. So those are just titles, but his name is Jesus Christ. This is why we baptize in the name of Jesus, why we cast out devils in the name of Jesus, why we pray for the sick in the name of Jesus, why there is victory in the name of Jesus, why all things should be done in the name of Jesus. Jesus the Bible said in all word in all deed do unto the name of Jesus and it's that name it's that name which will change your destiny the name of Jesus Christ so who is the Lord who is the Lord this is a good question lots of people ask and still say today who is the Lord but he is the Lord of hosts he is Yahweh he is Jesus Christ he is the first and the last. He is the God of all. He brings life out of death. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, that's Ezekiel 37 verse 1. We're going to read verse 1 to 6. The word of the Lord says, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were all dry and he said unto me son of man can these bones live and I answered O Lord God thou knowest again he said unto me prophesy unto these bones and say unto them O you dry bones hear ye the word of the Lord thus says the Lord God unto these bones behold I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live and I will lay sinew upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord isn't it funny why didn't God just speak to the those bones on his own he needed a prophet to do it God uses people to bless 
people amen and look what it says it says son of man can these bones live and Ezekiel was not a negative person I don't know if he believed it or not but his answer was great he said uh, and he answered, O oh Lord, thou knowest. Sometimes we are faced with very big problems. Let's not have a negative spirit. Let's not have a negative uh, tongue. Let's not talk negative. People are always talking negative. They can't do it. It's impossible. We can't open up a second church. We can't do this. We can't do that. We can't go to the city. We don't have enough money to do it. We don't have finances to do it. We're, and we're so negative. If you don't believe it, just say, Lord, thou knowest. And then God will prophesy through you. Amen. And God wants to use us, praise the Lord. He wants to use us to speak to this mountain and be removed. To speak to the rocks and they will praise the Lord. To speak to the sick and they will be healed. To speak into the air faith amen everything we do all revolves about one word faith you can go to church all you like man but if you don't believe in the lord going to church ain't going to do anything you can go to church all you like but if you don't believe he's going to change your life and you don't believe he can break those chains and you don't believe he can heal you and you don't believe he can change your life then going to church ain't going to do any good for you is it it's all about faith and the bible says without faith it is impossible possible to please him so you've got to have faith to please please him you can prophesy on yourself today you can prophesy against the sicknesses that's upon you and your family you can prophesy against the sadness that you're feeling and if you're not at peace you can prophesy against all of that which is obstructing the peace of the lord to rest upon you listen you can look at your problem and say in the name of jesus christ of nazareth be healed i rebuke you devil i rebuke you spirit I, re I i pray and ask liberty and victory and freedom to be upon me in the name of jesus if we turn to the book of exodus chapter 15 verse 26 let's go back to exodus 15 26 and we can see a wonderful scripture here how the lord says that if 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 and it is a big if, by the way. But in Exodus uh, 15, 26, and said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, thy God, which is Jesus Christ, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon you, which I have brought unto the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee you cannot live for satan all the week and expect to god to bless you on sunday you've got to live for god every single day i know it will be trying i know it will be a struggle but this is where the lord said i will never leave you and i will never forsake you the lord is always there to help those who really want to live for him he knows if you are really trying and struggling he knows if you really want to live for him or you're just pretending to it's isn't it funny that when you go to a church or you meet a lot of Christians, they're all so perfect that they have no troubles and no problems and no trials. You can go into a church congregation and say, can anyone put their hand up who really wants to give up or is suffering? And nobody will put their hands up. The reason being is because we're not truthful. We're not honest. We pretend we have revival when we don't. We pretend we're encouraged when we're not. We pretend we're blessed when we're not. We're, we pretend, you know, but when you look in the Bible, people were honest. God wants an honest heart. He wants somebody who will speak honest honestly amen if you are struggling tell god honestly if you are failing him tell him honestly if you want to quit tell him honestly amen there's nothing wrong in being negative sometimes people say it's wrong to be negative you should be positive have faith have faith which is true we need to have faith but there are times of negativism if you see a battery a battery has a positive side and a negative side in order to ge uh, to generate the power they have to have both sides running together we have negative sides but that's when we call on the name of the lord 
the Bible says, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. In the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 30 and 31, the Bible said he will renew our strength. In 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 6, it says stir up the gift. And in Titus chapter 3 verse 5, it says renew him of the Holy Ghost. Sometimes we need a good renewal. The renewal of the corn plant came by planting the seed and the plant comes forth out of the ground and brings forth fruit. In John 12 verse 24, it says, except a piece of corn fall into the dirt and die, it cannot bring forth fruit. Sometimes we just need to admit to God, I am stale, I am dry, I am down, I am bored with church, I am bored with this Lord, renew me, renew a right spirit in me, I pray thee, O most high and mighty God, because the presence of the Lord is here right now, right now, the presence of the Lord is here to heal. If we turn to the book of Luke, that's the book of Luke, chapter 5, verse 17, and it says, And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the Lord sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. The power of the Lord right now is present to heal you. That's correct. The presence of the Lord is here right now to heal you. And if you will allow it, God will heal you and restore you and give you a new vigor, a new fire. Amen. A new mandate. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. There the presence of God is here today. And I want to turn very quickly to the last scripture. What are you feeling? How are you feeling when you hear this message right now? What's going through your mind and your heart? I believe by the power of Jesus that if you listen to this message and believe right now as I speak these words, the Lord Jesus Christ, he will hear you and he will heal you. In the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 17, this is the last scripture I'm going to read you. In, uh, in Revelation 21, verse number uh, uh, 17 amen uh, 22 sorry 22 sorry my mistake revelation 22 verse number 17 and i'm going to read this to you and then we're going to pray this is what the word of the lord says and the spirit and the bride said come and let him that heareth the word say come and let him that is a first come and whosoever will let him take of the water of life freely jesus is that water he said if you will drink of me you will not first again jesus is the spirit because you cannot have a holy ghost without somebody first dying jesus died and then came back to us in spirit form the holy ghost jesus is the bride hallelujah and what is he saying if you're thirsty if you're dry if you are sick if you are feeling down if you are feeling to give up if you're feeling then come to me let's pray right now in the name of jesus right now by the power of the holy ghost i apply the blood of jesus christ of nazareth upon anyone that is hearing this message right now by the power of jesus christ i pray in the name of jesus that you will bless and heal these people who are listening to this message whatever sickness whatever illness whatever trials or problems or tribulation whatever barrier whatever dynamic spirit whatever is holding them i break it and pronounce healing and victory and power upon the listener of this word right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth be healed in jesus name amen Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please continue to tune in and please refer us to other people and post our messages on your Facebook account or on your social media. We want people to hear the word of God. The word of God is not just for us. It's to share it around. If you've been touched by this message, I ask you, please paste and share, paste and share. 
in Jesus' name, God bless you and God bless your country and God bless the United Kingdom. Thank you.